very important we look at it from an end user's perspective. So what you're looking at here is a typical analytic workflow where we query data, bring it into the application server, and then run analytics. For in-database, we can pretty much mimic the exact same workflow. So let's start by pointing it to the data config, which is the bridge to your data source. And by the way, we can support multiple data sources like SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata, MySQL, and Apache Hive. Once we have this connection, we can now run in database descriptive statistics and we can you know pretty much throw in all variables and get all different kinds of descriptive statistics uh, except the processing happens in database and similarly you can run in database correlation matrices uh, or you could even do in database feature selection uh, so we know this is especially important when you want to identify the top factors before you throw it into modeling. So in this case, let's say we want to identify which of our factors are important in helping us predict those airlines which have a delay greater than 15 minutes. We can do that all in database. And once we have that, we can now feed that into advanced analytic models such as uh, CHADE, or logistic regression, uh, multiple regression, lasso regression, um, even clustering if needed. So there are a lot of different methods that we can use. So here we are using a logistic regression method. And we can now run this analytics. And as I said, even though to the end user, the designing process looks exactly the same, most of the processing happens in database. So we bring back only the aggregated results. So the advantages of doing this is improved operations as we can leverage the performance of the database server, improved reliability, especially in the case of slow intermittent network connections, improved security because we are not carrying over all of the raw data over the network. And this in turn reduces the risk of security breaches. And uh, since we bring back only the relevant data in the aggregated form over the network, it significantly improves performance as well. And it's relatively easier to set up because Statistica does not require you to install anything specific on the database, unlike most other platforms out there. Uh, there is the obvious caveat around uh, resources because anytime you're running advanced analytics on your database, it might interfere with primary database operations. So we have to be careful about that.